representing the 31 to 53 foot class in the center console category. The Glassstream 360 SCX has an overall length of 36 feet, a beam of 10 feet, and a max horsepower rating of 1200. Designed to get you to your favorite offshore fishing spot before anyone else, she has a draft of 20 inches, a variable dead rise of 24.5 degrees, a dry weight of 8,950 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 250 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, welcome aboard the Glassstream 360 Sport Cabin Extreme this boat screams adventure at me. You know, a boat this size, there's so much room in it, and really you're not sacrificing a lot to have this forward cabin here, and you can get up there and walk around on it. So we opened up and looked inside, there's a lot going on. Why don't we take a look? Grab a seat there, my friend. I'm gonna let you have the high chair. How's that sound? I, uh, hey, I kinda like this, this yeah. is comfy. There you go, how about a shave and a haircut? I can handle it. Let's talk a little bit about what's down below in this cabin here. George, I promise you never camped in something better than that. The bed's in there, the TV's in there, the fridge is in there, the microwave is in there. Oh, most important to me, the air conditioning is in there. And this one has got kind of a unique design. We've got a little, almost like a little couch type of thing over on the starboard side, and then an angular, really big bunk, big enough for two adults, obviously, to share. There's a filler piece that you drop in there, and the entire cabin becomes a bunk. How many boats have a bedroom and a bathroom for a center console? They've actually got a ceramic head in the center console. In the console, so you got two separate rooms here. I mean, we're talking about a, a one-bedroom apartment, basically. You can stretch out people on the bow, laying out in the sun. You've got comfortable seating on both sides here. You've got your barber chair. I'm going to give you a haircut later on. Nice little area to just hang out and chill up here. George, I like this seat, but let me tell you what I really like about the front of this console. There's just not a better way to build a console than front opening. Hey, why don't we move to my favorite part of the console, the part with the shade under it. Let's go. Man, let's move back here to where the shade's at. My favorite part of the hard top, getting underneath one. Woo, summer is here, but let me tell you something. Back here is where the sexy race boat takes over for me. You know, look at the console. Look at the curves and the shape of this console. You know, we've got plenty of room up here for displays. We've got a big MFD right here. You've got Mercury's Vessel View, a big 9-inch screen there for your instrumentation. The type of seating we've got, we've got a two-place helm right here, and you drop the seat back, and it completely wraps around your back. And I thought to myself, you know, how would that be useful? When you're going 70 miles an hour, it absolutely is useful. You are cradled in there like you're on an e-ticket ride, and it's a perfect application for that type of seating. You know, if you're just riding around, you flip that up, and you've got a comfortable seat with a nice, comfortable back. Let's talk about the fishability on this boat. Let's move into the cockpit. Ooh, George, I love it back here. Back in the sun. Lots of room, but remember when we thought bean bags were the end of the world, that was as comfortable as you could ever be in a center console. We both know that the most comfortable place to sit in a boat, especially when you're going, and especially when you're going fast, is all the way in the back. And we've got a nice L-shaped seat right here, which we can take out. One more place to sit down and get comfortable. Let's talk about the fishing though. You pull a couple of pins and these seats come out of here and you've got a fishing cockpit. Well, great live well here. We've, been, we've had a massive number of baits stored in there all day long. Plenty of fish box room. You know I love a long fish box and you gotta have it if you're gonna be offshore pelagic fishing. Rod holders, what more could you ask for back here? Yeah, you're cheating yourself here though. We've actually got two live wells on this boat. You've got a big live well right here and an even bigger live well across the seat right here. And if you wanted to, you can add two more in the bow. For me, these two right here are gonna be plenty. Now, you know, another thing you're gonna need if you got a serious fishing boat, you gotta have rod holders. I mean, there's rod holders in here. We've got this boat set up with four rod holders in the gunnels. You've got storage holders up here, and then the kingfish style in the hard top. You've got a lot of power options with this boat, too. Now, the boat's max rated for 1,200 horsepower. That's three 400s but it'll run really good with just two 300 horsepower. But you know what, buddy? This is our third year of doing glass streams. They didn't get all that speed out of these hulls by scrimping on space. They didn't make the boat too skinny. There's plenty of room back here for multiple anglers. You know, if you want to go fishing on a boat, they got you covered. If you want to go laying around in the sun and just relaxing on a boat, they got you covered. If you want to go back to your inner 14-year-old and go 75 miles an hour, they got you covered. What more do you need? <laughs> What I need, George, is an adventure, and you can find it on this boat. All those things that you just mentioned, and a whole world of possibilities. Anything you can do on the water, you can do in this boat. The Class Dream 360 SCX, 
is an adventure waiting to happen. You need to see it today.